Hey everybody, Shavin Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight we're going to check out some more new inventory. 1960 Ford truck. Now this was an old farm truck. It was an F600. So all we've got here is the cab and the front clip. Because really the big heavy duty chassis stuff, I don't like them because they take up so much real estate to try to store them. So a lot of the times when you just see cabs and front clips around here, that's probably what it was as a farm truck because if they take them in as the full truck with the bed and everything or the extended frames, you know, they take up so much real estate that it wastes a lot of room. So really not opposed to getting them just like this where you've got the cab and the front clip. Cause like on this 1960 Ford, other than the front fenders, about all this stuff is the same as pickup, the hood, the grill, the cab. So the majority of this stuff will work on a pickup. So. Before we get into this one, let's take a quick glimpse at a few of the other 57 to 60 Fords we've got here on the ground right now. I've got several of them. Let's get, take a quick glimpse at those, then we'll get into this 60 F600. This old 60 does still have a lot of good pieces on it. Just starting right here at the front end. This is the painted grill, not the chrome grill, but it's not bad. It's got dings and dents in it, but shoot, I mean, it's over 60 years old. And like most of these trucks, these trucks were workhorses. They weren't show queens. They weren't highly prized like they are today. They were, they were there for one reason, and one reason only, and that was to work. So any of these trucks that just have a few dings and dents in them, that's pretty good considering what these trucks went through, just like the whammy in the hood. But overall, I mean, even the lower part of the grill on this old 60 is still pretty straight. Under the hood, it's just exactly as they popped it off, straight off the frame. All the fender wells, core support, hinges, everything is all here. Just nothing else, straight off the frame. Does still have the F600 badges on the hood. Fenders have a little bit of rust in them, but not bad. Did have some clearance lights on the top of this one, as well as these larger size mirrors. Now you gotta remember, when these trucks have a grain bed on them, that grain bed actually sticks out past the cab. So you have to have mirrors like this that go out well around that grain bed to be able to see behind you. So that's why you see a lot of these trucks with fairly elaborate mirror setups on them. And that's exactly what we've got here on this old 60 F600. Now this was a workhorse. The back of the cab is definitely beat up. It's got a few dents in the roof. Take a peek in the passenger side here. See the heater underneath there, a uh, custom glove box doorknob. And we'll come over here to the driver's side, where once again we see that big mirror to be able to see around those grain beds. And we can take a peek inside of here on the driver's side as well. Not a ton of rust in this cab. We can see the steps are in pretty good shape. A little bit of rust starting to come through back here, but doors don't look too bad. Steps are all still here. Hinge pockets are still here. Uh, was serviced at a golf station at some point in its life. Got the old service sticker there from a golf station. And in here, kind of your basic old Ford truck. Regular dash, all your controls, lighter's been changed. But one additional gauge was added to it and still has Ford keys. And 
once again our F600 on this side. Here we see the other side of the grill still pretty straight. Like I said, not too bad of an old truck. Still a lot of good bits and pieces there. A lot of little fit pickup. So, and like I said, since this is off the frame, I don't have another 15 feet behind it that I have to try to figure out where to put it. So these work out well, and there's still a lot of good pieces left on this old 60 Ford. Well, there she is, the 1960 F600. So I hope that kind of clears things up about why a lot of times you see just the front half of a truck sitting around here because they were typically a big truck. And like I said, that would be, I would need another 15 feet of room just to store the back half of this thing if it were complete. So that's why a lot of the stuff you see around here is just the front part of it. Plus, you know, a lot of this stuff will fit a pickup. So got any questions about this 60 F600 or any other 2000 cars and trucks we've got here on the ground at nobody else's auto, just give me a call. 620-786-4428. That number is in the description part of this video if you click back on that. Having a short conversation about your project or what you're looking for for a project. I need year, make, model, body style, the parts you need. All that information is critical because I can't see your car, so that's why I need to talk to you about it for a second to get that information. So give me a shout if you got any questions. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So if you like these old cars, these old trucks, memorabilia, be sure to check out the channel. Nobody show. Definitely click that subscribe button. I've been buying a ton of cool stuff. We got a lot of great videos coming up. I bought several Chevy pickups last week. I got a super cool 49 Buick that just hit the ground. 57 Cadillac. We got some neat stuff, neat stuff coming up. You don't want to miss any of it. So definitely click that subscribe button so you can check out what we've got going on and uh, keep up with all the cool new inventory as it hits the ground here at Nobody Else's Auto. So hope you enjoyed the F600. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming up. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. And we sure hope to see you soon on the next one.